Hey everybody, happy Friday. Just looking to see if I'm in the right place. There's always that moment of panic. Did I choose the right group? <laughs> Hope you guys have had a good week. I am very excited about, yep, there I am. I'm very excited about today's projects. We will be using the Lighting the Way bundle. Um, the stamps are cute, but the dies are even cuter with that lantern and that big um, firefly. It's a really great set. Uh, it's in the spring catalog, and uh, hopefully I will convince you today that you need it. Um, Ashley, I saw you. Can you see what I have hanging over here? I got the best surprise in the mail this week, you guys. It's this wooden sign, and it came in this big flat box. I was like, what did my husband order? And then I opened it. I was like, oh my gosh. It says, um, hope you brought tacos. Isn't that so cute? I think that'll be cute hanging on my door in my new uh, craft studio once we move. So once again, Ashley, thank you so much. You are the best gift giver. Um, it was a fun surprise. So thank you. I have enjoyed all the taco surprises you guys have been sending me. Um, today, someone tagged me on Instagram with a card um, using the Taco Fiesta. They had taken the avocados and stacked them like a Christmas tree super cute. Um, it said, holy, holy, holy guacamole. <laughs> I mean, it's just so funny. So I love it. All right. I see you guys jumping on. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with paper pumpkin this month. I got my paper pumpkins and look how stinking cute. Um, these cards may quite possibly be some of my favorite paper pumpkin cards ever. Look at this one. It has a rainbow. They're like little window cards. Um, there, there were some dies that were going to coordinate with this paper pumpkin and they sold out. They were available for three weeks and they sold out, but you don't need the dies. That's what I was wondering. Well, I need the dies because I didn't get them either. Will you need the dies to create your paper pumpkin projects and you don't they're just an extra bonus that you could buy to cut out i think it was like the frog and a flower or something but the paper pumpkin has everything that you need it has the little stamp set and my one of my favorite colors mango melody stamp and blend um i have a couple extra right there. If you need one, please let me know. If you've already told me, if I ordered one for you, don't worry. I just haven't, I haven't taken care of it yet, but I will. Don't worry. Um, what was I going to say about paper pumpkin? Next month, next month, I think I already told you guys, it is the 10 year anniversary of paper pumpkin. So March's paper pumpkin will have an extra stamp set in it. That's really exciting. So if you want to make sure to get that, make sure you go over there, subscribe, and make sure your credit card is up to date. Every month I get emails from people whose card, you know, like expired or they had to replace or whatever and they forgot to update their paper pumpkin um, payment. So don't be that person. Make sure you update. Um, that happened to me recently um, and I had to think of all the things that were connected to my card. It is such a pain. Such a pain. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'll just turn you guys around because I have a lot of things I want to show you and it'll be better if I just show you rather than holding them up. So I'll turn you guys around Doot, like that. So, um, how are you guys this week? If you're a, a news junkie like me, there's been a lot of things happening around the United States this week. Hopefully none of you are near the awful train derailment that happened. I It's just been awful. I've been watching, thinking about all of those people. Um, in other news, we have some upcoming products. I told you guys about these a uh, week before last. These are online exclusives. Stampin' Up's going to be doing online exclusives. Um, and I can't ever remember the schedule but about every three or four months there's going to be online exclusive products released if you're a demonstrator right now you can pre-order the these these aren't the only things that they're going to be releasing on march 1st these are just some of them and i told i told you guys about them only because i want you to know 
about them. You can't, as a customer, you can't order them right now unless you buy the starter kit. And when you buy the starter kit, you can put them in your starter kit. But I know other demonstrators are posting pictures of projects and stuff, so I just wanna make you guys aware. Um, I have already designed, we're gonna do a Facebook Friday in two weeks using this beautiful set called Irresistible Blooms. Um, this, it has paper right here, and they're, they're bringing back two uh, previous colors Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Um, it also has Flirty Flamingo in there. Um, it's a really beautiful set of paper. The fonts on here are probably some of my favorite fonts I've ever had in a stamp set. There's also this uh, Classic Letters. We're gonna use this actually next week. Next week we're gonna be doing the Pirate Ship um, on the Ocean, is that what it's called? And we're gonna use this for one of those projects too. Um, and then there are the dies. There's three embossing folders. There's a polka dot one. I don't know what happened to it. But I just wanted to let you guys know so that you're aware of it um, to be looking for it on March 1st. Um, and more things on March 1st. They said that there's going to be other products released um, in addition to what they've given demonstrator pre-orders. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's the first time they've done this. Um, officially this official like product online exclusive product release schedule um, and so it's exciting it's exciting to get some new things I can hear my dog in the backyard barking his head off <sighs> he's our oldest one you guys and he's deaf and he's almost blind and so he's just barking at everything and sorry neighbors I can't come get him <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, this is this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I think I've sent it out once already. I need to send it out again. If you order with me, spend $50 with me online. Um, during the month of February, I will send it to you for free. It has 12 um, tutorials in it. They're all videos, and they all use the Country Floral Lane uh, suite of products. Um, I'm so distracted by what's going on in the backyard. Um... What was I going to tell you? Oh, it's also available in my PDF store too. If you are interested in just buying it, it's $15. This is my project this month, but there's also cards. Um, I think maybe one or two other 3D projects. Um, they're all videos, which is great. They all have um, metric and imperial measurements. So if you are not in the United States and you use metric, we have those for you. All right, Club Create. Things are getting dicey. <laughs> things are getting dicey with our club situation because of back orders and low inventory and stuff. So this is March's Club Create kit. Features playing in the rain. Um, if you are a subscriber, or re subscriber already, I sent you an email yesterday, way earlier than normal. Um, the dies are on low inventory. So I'm, I'm ordering them as you guys order them um, just to hopefully ensure that you get them in your kit next month. Um, I don't know that makes me very nervous but hopefully um, the the flowers are unorderable right now but they're supposed to be back the, the week of the 27th which is week after next. Um, but anyway if you're interested in, in um, subscribing to Club Create it's a monthly subscription kit that you can join and then cancel anytime you want. It's $39. It includes roughly about $20 in product. You'll have leftovers to make other projects and if you stay for six months you get a $25 product bonus. So um, if you want more details on that it's at the bottom of today's blog post. Pink Buck Com. Did my post go up? Has anybody checked? Um, <laughs> yeah, Trisha, that's how old he is. He's 14. Yeah, he is real old. Um, and he just barks, barks, barks. Yeah, I, who knows what. Um, anyway, the information for this, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe there. Um, thanks a bunch. And the Easter Bunny, I'm calling this the Bunnies and Carrots class to go. You have one more week to register for this class. It uses both the Easter Bunny and the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Um, there are there are several options available for you. Um, if you would like to find the details on this class, on today's PDF, I have it right there for you. Last week I forgot it, um, but it's right there for you. So you can um, register for that. I hope that's the right, is that the right link? 
for some reason I'm thinking, hold on, let me check that. It doesn't feel like the right link. Hold, please. Yeah, we got an email from our, um, yeah, that's the right link. It didn't look right. It's supposed to start with something else. C-O-N, but oh well. Okay, crisis averted. We got an email from the HOA about barking dogs. They sent it to everyone, kind of passive aggressive, you know, like if your dog is barking um, excessively, please make it stop. <laughs> okay, send an email to the people whose dogs are barking because now we're all worried. Is it me? Is it me? I don't think it's me because I'm home all the day, all all day and then I just go get them if they're barking. Um, I also, you guys, <laughs> if you have a ring camera, we have a ring camera in the back because we were having some skunk problems. And if you have a ring camera, I can get on my phone and yell at him through the ring camera. <laughs> so I don't have to walk to the back of the house. I just get on the ring and say, go inside, Mac. And he does. He, he's a good boy. He listens. He just, I mean, he can hear me, but he's also can't hear me. You know, it's like he can hear things. But not all things. But when he hears me, he's very obedient. <laughs> he's he's so old. I worry about him at the new house. The backyard is going to have um about 14 stairs down. And I don't know if he's going to be able to traverse those stairs. It's going to be interesting. Um. Anyway, sorry. Random random story in the middle of uh, Facebook Friday. Um, celebration. We have only have what? What is today? We have a week and a half of celebration left. Um, there is a lot. There are lots of goodies still available. I've had some questions, so I just want to make sure I point some things out. Um, everything in this catalog is still available, except for the dainty flowers. They sold out yesterday. So um, hopefully, you guys have had almost two months to get them. So hopefully you got that paper, which surprised me. That's my least favorite paper in the whole thing. And I was seeing people online saying it was their very favorite. Isn't that funny how people can just feel completely differently about papers and stamps? Um, but everything else is still available. Uh, you have um, options free with a 50 or free with a $100 purchase. And then there's these new things that aren't on here. But when you order online, it'll prompt you and it will show you these things. Um, this is the Enjoy the Journey DSP. I am designing Club Create for April right now with this paper, and I love the projects. I am in love with every piece of paper in this pack. So that's one thing you can get for free. You can get this ribbon, um, the frayed ribbon. Uh, you can get these masks, uh, Loveliest Layers Decorative Mask. I need to pull mine out and play with these because nobody's choosing these, and I think that these are pretty good. I need to show you guys. Uh, maybe I'll do that this weekend. And you have embossing folder choices into the clouds and hive both I highly recommend. Um, and then there are two kits. This one that is called oh I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um kindness cards. Has that 10. That 10 is so cute. Even if you didn't want to make it specifically for that, just getting a free stamp set and a kit. I mean in a in a 10 is cute. Um, and then the other kit is called, who knows? I don't know. I should know these things. Let's party treat packaging kit. All right. And it comes with a stamp set and a spot as well. So those are your choices. Oh, and then there's two punches, the songbird punch and, um, <coughs> what's that other punch called? It's like a tag punch. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then the hundred, there's an additional hundred dollar, one hundred dollar item purchase. When you spend a hundred dollars, you can choose one of the level two, and it's the Eden Eden's Garden bundle. Okay, just wanted to cover that. Make sure you guys knew. Here's that new kit I showed you last week. Thirteen dollars wreath of blooms kit. Isn't it beautiful? I saw someone online. They painted this black, and they used their black and white gingham ribbon here, and it was so cute. That's in our kit section online. Okie dokie. My table is cleared off. Whew. Let's see if I can make room for all the things. Today's projects. I had a nightmare of a day filming videos yesterday and the day before. I recorded a video for my team and then sent it out and it had no sound. And it was a 30-minute video. So I had to re-record that. 
Then yesterday I went to, I always make individual recordings of these projects for you guys for YouTube. And it was just one mess up disaster after another. Hopefully I splice those videos together so that they look seamless, but who knows? Oh, it was just one of those days, but I think I got all the kinks worked out. So today's Facebook Friday should be, um, I'm getting distracted by comments. The, today's project should go smoothly, hopefully. All right, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, make sure you hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Did you, I didn't look, is it? Is it up? Is the blog post up? Um, let's see, yeah, you know, Trisha, HOA, there are good things about HOAs and then there are bad things about HOAs. You know, you know, I don't know. You just never know kind of like technology you know you can't live with it and you can't live without it one of those things all right so post is up thank you Trisha all right so at the uh, below the last photo of, on today's post um there is a button that says click here for the pdf this is the pdf it has all the things I just talked about um, as well as today's projects and measurements under each photo there's also a link to those individual recordings if you want to come back and watch a more streamlined um tutorial you know sometimes we get off we get off on tangents during facebook friday now the other thing is if you like today's projects i will send them to you for free with an online order you can order anything you want as long as it's as it's between now and monday at midnight um, and you have to use the host code okay um, the minimum order for the free make and takes is 35 dollars but during celebration, I would hope, I mean, I would think you would want free stuff and you would bump your order to 50. You don't have to, but, you know, free stuff. Hello. Um, so if your order is $35 and uses that host code, I will send you the make and takes for today's projects for free. Um, you will, they will come, they look like this. You will need the bundle, okay? I don't do any stamping and I won't do any die cutting with these dies. Anything else like circles, squares, things like that, I will include, um, but not these. So you'll need the bundle, um, ink, and adhesive. I make a little thank you tag, and uh, that's it. Now, here's a caveat, okay? And I know this can be confusing. If your order is $150, don't use the host code because then you're going to earn free Stampin' Rewards, and that's free product from Stampin' Up!, and I will automatically just send you the make and takes for free as a thank you, okay? All right, one last thing. Two winners from last week, Michelle Montemuro and Nydia Detrail. I hope, I'm sorry if I butchered those. I have both of your addresses. You're both in my address book, so I will send these to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video last week. This week I've got a bundle around the bend. Have you guys played with this? Anybody played with this yet? I'm very intrigued by it. I'm a little intimidated um, by it, but I've seen some amazing things online. The dies are real cool. So um, all you have to do to be entered to win is to share either on Facebook or YouTube, share the video, and um, just write in the comments that you shared. And I will pick somebody at random next week to win that bundle. All right, we are ready. I am going to need to make, I got to make some major room today because we're doing some water coloring and I'm going to, I've got bowls and water. <laughs> so hold on just a second. The first one we're going to make is the one that I posted today. All right. And it is, do you recognize, remember we did this side step card, um, with the gnome. Remember I was like, what's this called? And then you guys said it's a side step card, I think. So I turned it this time and made it like this. Now, hold on. I, you, you're going to need, you're going to need a tea light. All right. A battery, a battery operated. Don't be lighting a regular tea light in here. And it flickers inside. And of course you can't see it now because it's so bright in here. Um, but it's just a fun little like, I don't know, like a little decoration. Um, you can mail it in the mail like that, flat. Um, and then when the person gets it, they can stick their little tea light in there and have it displayed. And it says, follow your own star. That is a quote from Dante Alieri. 
it's from the stamp set called Stepping Stones. Okay, so that's our first project. Let's get started on that. We are going to do some watercoloring. And I have several bowls over here. Hold on, I gotta reach it all. I brought some bowls and some water. Now, normally I would probably do it differently, but because I'm gonna be using several different colors, I'm gonna I'm gonna just bring all the bowls and all the water, okay? All right. Now the colors that we are using are Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Blackberry Bliss, and Rich Razzleberry. And it's gonna go in that order, okay? There's two ways to do this. Um, you can use your reinkers, and you could put a dot of ink on each of your blocks. Um, and then add water to it, or you can take your ink pad, your stamp pad, and just um, get your, you know, make a little palette for yourself on your block. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, where's my water painter? I have a water painter, and I'm going to add some water. This is a quarter sheet of shimmer white cardstock. I need to move this up a little bit. No, that's good. Shimmer white cardstock. Um, you want to either use that or um, our watercolor paper. Now, the reason I am using a half sheet, did I say quarter sheet? A half sheet is because we're going to cut one part of it four by five and a fourth for the back of the card, right? And then we've got to cut another piece three and an eighth by three and an eighth for that right there. So I thought, you know, let's just do it all at the same time and... Uh, then we'll just cut it down. So with your Daffodil Delight, you wanna start at the bottom and work your way up. All right, and I like to start at the bottom so that my color is heavier there on the bottom. All right, now I have a paper towel somewhere over here. Now we're gonna to move to Melon Mambo. I tried to make a desert sunset that was the look I was going for okay um, now I'm gonna put my yellow water over here and hopefully clean this brush good enough all right melon mambo and then I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna work my way down I have done a lot of watercoloring this week I don't know I just get in these moods where I just want to watercolor I just want to make all the watercolor backgrounds um, today I just did like three different colors. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. And then I made some projects for a Facebook Live in a couple of weeks. All right, so you want to make sure you've got enough water so that when you get down here to the yellow part, the daffodil delight part, it's going to it's going to mix. But you also don't want to get so much water that you wash out all your color. It's it's a trial and error, really. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my yellow, my Daffodil Delight. This is a mess. Look at that. All right, um, Daffodil Delight. This is the project I had to re-record yesterday, this project. <laughs> I was very, very mad at myself. I forgot a very important step, and I'll tell you when we get there. But I had, I had to, I had to re-record it. So I was not happy. All right, so then I'm just gonna add some more yellow. Yellow is gonna get washed out really easily by that Melon Mambo. So you're probably gonna need to add in some more. All right, okay. Now, last, we're gonna do those purples. And I'm gonna clean that because that's making me very nervous. So now we're gonna do Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to do just a little bit of Rich Razzleberry. And these two can, you know, you can use the same water for these because they're very similar. All right. Now, see how dark that is? You want to go easy on this. Otherwise, it is going to take over your project. All right. Is it looking like a sunset? My paper is taped down with painter's tape. 
um, so that it doesn't curl up too much. Um, it holds it down, because you can already see it's starting to warp. Um, one thing you need to, because we need a piece that's four by five and a fourth, you only wanna tape just the very edge because this piece is five and a half. And we're gonna have to just cut off that edge. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna put some Blackberry Bliss just right up there at the top like that. And I'm gonna leave it. All right, so now you're gonna have to set it aside to dry. And if you're like me and you use a lot of water, that's gonna take a while. Hold on, let me get a basket to put all of this mess in, get it off the table. But luckily, I have one already done. So, but I gotta clean all this up first. Oh gosh, wouldn't it be funny if I just spilled it all across the table? That wouldn't be very funny. All right, let me move it back here, hold on. Okay. So now, let me grab one more paper towel. Get all your mess cleaned up. And I will bring over, I have two different ones actually. I have this one and I have this one. Now this one, what I did is I took, I think I like this one better, I don't know. This one I took water and I flicked on it and then I went like this. Which one, which one? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, just so that you guys know, oh, good grief, come on. Just so that you guys know, when you take your painter's tape off, it's not gonna stick to your paper, but you gotta be careful, all right? So just peel it real soft like that. And sometimes it'll just come out because you just taped that tiny little milli, quarter inch, not, it's an eighth of an inch, really, probably. I can't decide which one I want to use. The flicked one, you think? <sighs> I don't know. How long does it take to dry? Andrea, it depends on what, how much water you use. Mine took a couple of hours, probably. I mean, maybe an hour. Maybe that was an exaggeration. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Um, it just really depends on how much water you use. And if it's sunny outside, if you go outside and put it in the sun, it'll dry much faster. I had, it was really cold here yesterday, so I had my space heater on. Um, so I set them in front of the space heater. I know that sounds like just a fire waiting to happen, but my space heater just blows hot air. It doesn't, it's not super hot. Anyways, it was safe. Trust me. <laughs> and uh, I put them in front of the heater and it, they dried pretty fast. All right, so we're gonna do four, we need to do four by five and a fourth. I love a space heater under my desk to keep my toes warm, it's very nice. All right, so we've got this piece. Um, the heat tool, okay, that's a great question. So the heat tool will, but it is gonna dry differently. If you let water dry without the heat tool, it leaves, I think, more natural watermarks. Um, if you dry it with a heat tool, you're not gonna get that. But yes, it would it would totally work. Um, okay, so we wanna cut this piece from the bottom, okay? So that it's matched. See how it's matched right there? Um, if you cut this part, it just wouldn't look right. So we need it to be kind of the same. So I'm gonna use the bottom. Actually, I think I'm gonna use, because that's a lot of, that's a quite a bit of yellow. So let's cut it. This piece needs to be three and an eighth by three and an eighth because our little step is three and a fourth, all right? Okay, now you've got these little pieces. You gotta save that for something, that is so pretty. All right, now let's get all of our other pieces. Now that I have all the watercolor stuff out of the way, I'm using Blackberry Bliss. Here's the, the stamp set that we're using for the sentiment. It's called Stepping Stones. It's from the annual catalog, right? For some reason, I just suddenly was like, the, I don't know. All right, Blackberry Bliss regular card. I need to get the water out of here too. Regular card 
uh, four and a fourth by 11, fold it in half. All right, so we're gonna put this, you know, I'm gonna put, because it's kind of warped from the water, I'm gonna really be generous with that adhesive. All right, so there we go. Now I have cut out three mountains. These are from the Majestic Mountain Dies. And I'm gonna put two on the bottom here. And I'm flipping this one over on the back just so that it's gonna look different from my other one. I don't want them to be like exactly the same. All right, and then we'll take this one. And I'm just gonna kind of shift it over down all, well, yeah, that's good. Down all the way like that. All right, so now take your scissors. This card is similar to a card I made years ago with the Majestic Mountain Dies. One of my favorite cards I've ever made and that's what popped in my mind when I had this idea. So I actually looked up to see what colors I used for that card because I loved it so much. All right, now here is the little side step. The measurements for this are on the PDF. I can't remember them off the top of my head. You're gonna fold it like a C, okay? And we're gonna adhere this right in the middle. Now, here's where I, this is the step I forgot yesterday. You have to cut a hole in this. And if you don't, this, car, this cardstock's so dark, the light's not gonna show through. You have to cut a hole in it, okay? So don't forget. So while we bring the cut and emboss machine over, we're also gonna cut out the lantern. Where are my guys? Here they are. We're gonna cut out this lantern. This lantern is the star of this bundle. I love it so, so much. Oh, I hope it carries over. Okay, cut and emboss machine. I could probably use my small one but we'll just use this guy since he's out. All right, the first thing, let's cut this first. We really wanna make sure it's mostly centered. Okay, and that's a circle. I think that's like the second smallest layering circle die. You could use the smallest, it doesn't really matter. You just need to leave enough space for that little light to shine through. And then look at that cute little circle that you cut out. I don't know, it looks like maybe a sun or something. I'm gonna save that. <coughs> okay, now our lantern, we're gonna cut that out of brushed metallic cardstock. Yes, are there fireflies? Yes, there are fireflies. We're getting to that on the next project. No fireflies on this project. But on the next one, yes. Lots of fireflies. Okay, right here. All right, so we have our lantern. I'm gonna take a, uh, where did I put it? Right here. I'm gonna take a two and a half inch vellum circle. And I've got some uh, Daffodil Delight on my small blending brush. Okay, and my Wink of Stella. Oh, I forgot, darn it, I forgot again to flick Wink of Stella on the card. We can still do it, we can still do it. I'm just kind of adding flicks of Wink of Stella there. So over here, if you squirt just a tiny bit of Wink of Stella on your block and then you flick like that, it's gonna give you some stars in your sky. All right, all right, that'll dry pretty quick. Now, let's take this and turn it over, put that right in the middle, like that, and I'm gonna take my dimensionals, and I'm just gonna stick that on with dimensionals like this, okay? Now, did I cut another piece of vellum? I did not. Let me grab another piece of vellum, unless it's right here. Nope, it is not. You need another piece of vellum for 
the inside of this circle, although maybe you don't. Let's look. Let's have a look. Where is my tea light? Is it in here? Because if you had that, and then you had that, yeah, you know what? We're, we're not. We're going to leave that off. I don't think we need it. I do not think we need it. But you know what we do need are our mountains. Let's put our mountains. We've got one more set of mountains right here at the bottom. Like that. Cut that off. Cut that off. I am seeing zero comments today. Zero. <sighs> so frustrating. All right. So there is how you put that on. Okay. All right, so now how do we put it onto our card? I'm just gonna use Stamp and Seal to make it easy, but maybe use Stamp and Seal Plus or Tear and Tape, just so that it's extra strong. Now we want it in the center, and this part needs to be down at the bottom because when it lays down like this, we need to have enough room. If you put it too high, it'll you know fold up over here and then it won't fit in the envelope. So fold it down flat like this and get that bottom part down here, centered left and right. One of mine that I've made is not centered and it bugs me, all right? And then lay that down flat and then, ta-da, there you have it, all right? Okay, so let's add a linen thread bow. We also need to stamp our sentiment. What do you guys think? Pretty cute, huh? I um, did not have any battery operated tea lights. So I went and bought some and then my mom came over later and she was like, oh, I have a ton of those. I'm like, Darn it. I should have known that. She always has those on at her house. But I linked them on Amazon if you want to order them from Amazon. I bought them from Joanne Fabrics. And Joanne Fabrics is ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously overpriced. I know they overpriced so you can use a, have a sale, use a coupon, all that. But still, it was like, I don't know, $15 or something for the package that I got. Anyways, okay. Now we're going to stamp the sentiment in Melon Mambo. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Nydia. I'm glad you like it. This was one of those that it was like in my brain and it had to work its way out. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And I did several things, pulled them apart, changed them, and then it, and then it came my brain I just did that today too I pulled the card apart several times to get it to get it exactly right all right I'm gonna cut this little piece down just all it is is the, the strip is just gonna be the height and the width of the words so just a rectangle that fits around the sentence all right now I have a Dark, I have a gray cloud because it's nighttime, so the clouds would be gray or it's sunset. They would be in silhouette. So put that there and then put some regular adhesive on the left side and a dimensional on the right side. Oh, I did it backwards. Man, I was being all smooth like I knew what I was doing. Okay, put a dimensional on the right side and regular adhesive on the left side. That way you can put it right here, stick it to your cloud with the stamp and seal side, and then the dimensional will make it even with your cloud. All right, let's add a few stars via these rhinestones. And then we're just gonna put a piece of white on the inside because Blackberry Bliss is very dark. And you wanna be able to write your message and explain to them that they need to go buy a tea light. <laughs> this card I made especially for you. Now go buy a tea light to put in it. All right, piece of white 
on the inside and we are done. Ta-da! What do you guys think? That's fun, isn't it? I am really into the sidestep cards and easel cards. We're making an easel card today too. I don't know, I just can't stop. All right, I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you very much. We gotta put the tea light in it. I wonder if I could turn off the lights if you guys could see it. Let's see if you can see it. Is it on? Let's see, can you guys see it twinkling? No, not really. Still pretty light in here. Hmm. Just trust me. <laughs> it's twinkling, I promise. All right, let's see what we have next. Let me move this and this and all of that. This goes here, this goes there. Got to get organized, and I need a drink of Diet Coke. All right. All right, our next card, we're actually going to be doing some flicking on this card, too. We're going to use the layering diorama dies to create this adorable little card look. Doop. See, here are your fireflies. All right, so we're gonna need Knight of Navy. Knight of Navy is gonna be your card base, all right? And then you're gonna need a quarter sheet of Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. Don't those colors go well together? All right, let me get some grid paper. And we're gonna flick some white ink on these. Now, I'm not gonna do a lot because I didn't do these ahead of time and they do need about 10 minutes to dry. All right, where is my other bowl that I used? We'll use this one. I need the water again. Where did I put it? Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> All right, white craft ink. This is just the refill. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you're in there. Come on. Oh man, I have, there's a drop left. There we go, okay, there we go. That's all you need is a little drop. And then just a tiny, tiny bit of water in there. Okay. Then take your water painter. And that may have been too much water. And just boop, boop, boop. Okay. Add some stars to your card stock. Okay. Now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to let these dry and make the other card. And then we'll come back and finish this one, okay? So not to confuse you, but that's what's happening. Otherwise, we're gonna make a mess. All right, so we gotta give these at least 10 minutes to dry. So I'm gonna set them over here. We'll come back to our diorama card. Now, you are gonna probably be really confused because the next card is the exact same colors. <laughs> but it's a different card, I promise. Hold on, I gotta put this somewhere. I got dishes to do now. Okay, so we're taking a pause on that one. Let's bring this one over. This one is an easel card, right? And see how it sits like that? This one uses the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. That paper is one of those free things that you can get during celebration. All right, and I love this color combination. You're going to need, let's do our stamping first. All of our cute little, our cute little, I keep wanting to call them ladybugs, but they are fireflies. All right, we're gonna stamp the big one twice. This is Starry Sky. Then we're gonna stamp the middle one 
Let's do him three times. The next one is the tiny one, and he's kind of hard to, to he's just so tiny. So we'll just do one of him, All right? And then take your Daffodil Delight. <laughs> Susie, I know, I know, I, I, my brain works the same way. I have to set timers on my phone. Otherwise, I'll, I will forget everything. All right, this is a little dot for your firefly, for your firefly bottom. <laughs> if I say B-U-T-T, -T, will Facebook say I'm saying bad words and then delete my video? I don't know, so we better not. All right, so you stamp those. And then where's our sentiment in here? Who knows what qualifies as a bad word these days? Thanks for lighting the way. And I'm just going to cut this one in a strip as well. Okay. Now, lucky for you guys, you don't have to watch me cut all those tiny things out because I've already done it. Um, but these are the dies. You've got a die for your, your big guy, your medium guy, and your little guy. And then these guys will cut out just, I guess, like silhouettes of... Um, fireflies and then this one these three make the big firefly that was on yesterday's card I'll show you that at the end and he's that's really cute he almost looks a little too real almost a little bit creepy <laughs> I don't know I don't mind fireflies but he, I don't know he's very buggy very buggy all right so you're gonna need a piece of highland heather that is a quarter sheet four and a fourth by five and a half. Now, yesterday's pieces were too long. Okay, these are right. And then this is, again, the Enjoy the Journey DSP. And one and a fourth, I believe, by four inches. We're going to put those on this side, like this. And then I've got this Highland Heather piece that is two and three fourths by eight and a half. And I've scored it at four and a fourth and two and an eighth. Okay. And we're going to adhere it right here to the center. I feel like this one is crooked and it's bigger and it's throwing everything off. So, But we're going to cover it up and it's not going to throw us off. Okay, there you've got that. Now, this one, this Knight of Navy piece, this is going to prop up like that. And this Knight of Navy piece is going to stand up like that. So we're only, and when you fold it down, it's gonna be like that, but we're only going to adhere it to this bottom section. Come on, adhesive. All right, so it's the same size, but you're just adhering it to that bottom piece. All right, so it'll be like that. Now, We've got a piece of white. Let's just go ahead and, no, we'll hold on to that. Hold on. Now, here's how I am going to do this part right here. See this mountain? On the back of this paper, you've got some mountains, right? So get two pieces of this. One of them is the background. I'm going to put that on here like that. And then this one, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that mountain along that mountain line like that. And then we'll put that right there. Okay, we've got our mountain. I feel like that, yep, it's too big, let's trim it. I was like, that looks wrong. There we go, that's better. All right, now for our for our lantern, we need a little glowing part right here. So I have pulled out, nope, I don't wanna use that. I have pulled out a retired punch. You guys, if you need a retired punch, you can get them on Amazon. We don't have them anymore for now. Uh, why do I have two pieces of this? This is for the other card, I think, isn't it? I better not use that. Um, also, you could just use a circle die, which would be totally fine. All right, so I'm just gonna make a little circle right there. 
get some Wink of Stella. Um, this is the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. It's available in the spring catalog, but it's also free. It's a celebration item that you can get for free. It's the, the you know, like the hiking and camping set. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have this annoying cough. All right, let's put this one on here. And I'm gonna use my dimensionals again. They're doing double duty. They're gonna hold that circle in place, but they're also gonna hold our lantern onto our card. Okay, so put that right there. All right, now for this piece inside, we're gonna stamp, you are all kinds of wonderful. And then we're gonna stamp the, the swoosh or the swirl, if I can find it, right here. I don't know what you call this, the swoosh or the swirl. It's gonna be the part that holds our little fireflies that are going to hold our card open. So now, I have already, remember we stamped these, but I cut them out ahead of time just to save us on some time. So I'm gonna put this white piece in here. And then I'm gonna get, do I have many dimensionals? Aha. All right, I'm gonna put one here and one here. Oh, I love this set. I, I loved this set right from the beginning. It's just so cute. I'm glad I'm changing your mind. All right, and then this guy can be going, let's have him going that way. And so then when you prop that up, those are gonna hold your easel in place. So clever, clever, clever. All right, now let's add our other, let's add our other little Okay, these nails, you guys, have got to go. They're too long. Is that our other fireflies? I wasn't too sure what color fireflies should be stamped. It really did take me quite some time to come to the realization it didn't matter. But, I mean, black, probably, and yellow, right? When I did that vellum, those vellum bugs yesterday, I was like, what do I do? What color? I don't know. Donna, you loved it from the beginning too? Yeah. You know, it's just so funny how everybody, you know, everybody has different things that jump out at them. No, that's too close to that one. Let's see. Maybe we don't need that last one. Okay. Now, we've got to get our sentiment cut out. Bring back that trimmer. And we're gonna cut that off. Where's my gutter? Right there. And I can, mm, well, I, part of it's missing. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I punched my circle too closely, but I think I can salvage if I cut it like that and like that. All right, dimensionals, where did you go? And we'll put that right along the bottom there. Now for our embellishments, we are going to use, let me clean up my mess. We're gonna use this natural finish, natural, hmm, what's it called? Natural finish ribbon, weird name. <laughs> Again, they didn't ask me. I keep telling them, I'll help you name these things. Just give me a call, and they don't. All right, that's a joke. Hopefully you guys know. I'm just joking. But really, <laughs> run it by me first. All right, so I've cut the edges off, and I'm gonna fold it through here like that, and then get our linen thread again. 
and if you take your block it'll hold it down and you can tie it if you guys have plans for the weekend I saw that it's warm up north. You guys haven't had a very cold winter. Signs of spring. They said the cherry blossoms in DC are probably going to bloom early this year. We have a very exciting weekend. We need to buy a new dryer. <laughs> yeah, that's our big plan. President's Day sale. Hopefully we can find one cheap. The one we had, we bought off a neighbor for a hundred bucks, probably like seven years ago. So we've gotten, we've gotten our money's worth. And now I want a good one. Anybody have a dryer recommendation? I mean, how do you know? I saw one that has an app where you can control it on your phone. So if you're like in the other room and you need, you're like, I don't want to do it right now. You can restart it, you know, and like keep the clothes going so they don't get wrinkled. I don't know if anybody's bought a dryer recently and you like it, tell me. All right, last but not least, we are gonna add some of these iridescent pearls just for a few extra little, like a diamond in the sky. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl? It was a good one. And I liked the halftime show. I know a lot of people say it was not good, but whatever, I liked it. I'm telling you, when I was pregnant, I was not anywhere near being able to do any of that so you know all right um here you go guys what do you think that's a pretty easy easel card the hardest thing is just going to be to cut all those those dragonfly um, dragonflies lady not ladybugs what are they called lightning bugs just cutting those out because they're tiny so use your use your um post-it tape to get them cut out Okay, one more. Let's go back to that card that we started. Hopefully our splatters are dry enough for us to cut them. Let's go back. I think they're dry. Let's see. Yep, pretty dry. All right, so to refresh your memory, here's this card. And it's just a regular card, but it's very fancy. All right, now for the dioramas, the diorama dies. Let me see, I have to remind myself, I think, nope, let me see, is it this one? That seems too big. Okay, this one, the largest one that we're using is the third largest, and that's gonna go on Orchid Oasis. And then the next down is gonna go on your Starry Sky, and then the next one, is gonna just go in the, the uh, center of your Knight of Navy card base. All right, so let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. Cut these. We'll start with our top layer. So your top layer is the biggest one and it's gonna get smaller as it goes. Okay, so there's that one. And then we'll do Starry Sky. It's gonna go in the middle. These blues go so good together. Peggy, we said it at the same time. I know, they go so good together. I totally agree. And, We'll put this one right here. Now, we're gonna layer these with dimensionals. Okay, so get your dimensionals and I recommend putting one dimensional at least in each corner. I know some people would use like 20 dimensionals on here, but I don't really think that you need that. Four would probably be enough. One thing you could do is put one here and here just to kind of keep it lifted up. 
Okay, so that's gonna go, it's the exact same size as the card front, four by five, four and a fourth by five and a half. And then this one is gonna go, if you use a lot of dimensionals, I'm not judging you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to, maybe if you're like low on dimensionals, you know. Okay, this one's gonna go on the top. Isn't that fun? I love the way that looks. Now, before we go any further, let's put our piece of basic white on the inside. Um, this is four, oh my gosh. This is four by five and a fourth. And before we do anything else, we wanna stamp the sentiment because that, if we put all that on there, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell where it goes and to get it right. So we'll put the sentiment first. That way we can arrange uh, everything else around it. <laughs> Sorry, got some ink all over me. Okay, so now for this card, you're gonna need to stamp the branch twice. And I'm using shaded spruce. Okay, and then we need, I believe we just need one of each. And actually, let's do one large and two mediums. That way we don't have to cut out that tiny one. We'll just stamp the tiny one on in the inside. Okay, so starry sky, then daffodil delight on his Backside. Okay, so now get your dies, cut them out, and voila, I did it ahead of time. Um, also, we have cut out, I'm gonna show you something you can do with your lantern. So I cut out two lanterns from Basic Black. I'm gonna stack them. That makes it thicker and more sturdy. You don't have to do that, but I think it kind of adds a nice effect. And if you did three, it would be even thicker. We've talked about the thickers, alphabet letters from the years past. You guys remember thickers, they're probably still out there. This is just kind of that concept, making things a little bit more stout on your project. Now line it up. I put adhesive sheet on one. Um, you guys are house. They're putting the drywall in in the next couple of days. Fingers crossed. It's been slow for the last two weeks. They delivered the drywall probably two weeks ago. And we've been waiting and waiting. They have to do all these little things that are not exciting before they put in the drywall. Okay. Just, I'm just telling you guys, because you guys, some of you have asked, thank you very much. When the drywall is up, I will take a picture of my studio for you. So you can see, I think I'll get a real good feel for the size once the, once the um, drywall is in. Okay, so we've got that there. Now bring back, boy, we've used this a lot today, haven't we? I'm gonna put a circle of Daffodil Delight right here so that, you know, we need more. It's not dark enough. Thanks, Tina. All right, like that. All right, so there, now it's, mm, it's like off center a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. So now our lantern is glowing. We're gonna take our two branches and a little bit of glue, and we'll put this one up here like that. And then we'll put this one kind of down in there. I may have to cut off that bottom. Oh, we don't want it covering the words. Let's go like that, hmm, like that. Okay, and we'll trim that off. There we go. And then some dimensionals for our fireflies. Um, are these two, I think maybe we can use a regular dimensional. 
put that one like that. This one like that. All right, and we'll add another linen thread bow. Thanks, Joy. Aw, oh, thanks, Emily. You guys are so sweet. Thank you very much. Yeah, this one is an awesome bundle, and it's not on low inventory. It's not on back order. But if we all order it today, it might be. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm going to convince you guys you need the pirate ship, too, next week. I like that set, too. It's fun. I found the... Well, I, okay. I got to give credit where credit is due. My husband came up with a good idea for something for a 3D, a treat, that I never would have thought of. So I have to stop by next week to check it out. All right. And now we're just going to use some, whoops, iridescent pearls. For this as well where did it go where did it go I don't have my take your pick tool I don't know where it is it's probably over on my other desk one there and <laughs> Melinda that would be awesome wouldn't it and okay this one was just stick to my fingers why why do you have to be so difficult today Come on, there we go. Now, hold on, we're not done. We gotta add a few fireflies on the inside. Let's use the little guy since he's been neglected. He's he's not fun to cut out, but he's cute. So we'll just stamp him in here. One, two, three. And then, oh my gosh, if I stick my fingers in this ink one more time. Ugh. And a little boop, boop, and boop. You know, we could also do the little swish. Where did I put it? It's over here. Should we do a swish on one of these guys? I kind of feel like we should. Let's do a swish. Oh, so cute. Let's do this one too. All right. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? Which one did you like the best? I can't pick. I love all three of them equally, just like my children. I love them all equally. All right, let's look at them. And then I'm going to show you my other two projects that I have. I really like these colors together. And I'm not typically a blue person. But I love these blues. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I've been using blues a lot. <coughs> Excuse the cough. It's still hanging around. My daughter had an orchestra rehearsal yesterday for a UIL competition. And she said on the stage she, uh, she couldn't see where I was. But then she heard my cough and she knew exactly where I was. I was like, thanks. Thanks for that. I mean, I can't help it. Only 14-year-olds would be embarrassed of their mother's cough I guess all right so here are the things that we made right these three so if you put in an order minimum $35 by Monday at midnight I will send you make and take packets for these three all right now let me show you the other things so the one I showed you yesterday the one I told you last week I had a big surprise this was it and I'm not gonna lie it was a little you probably can't see it lighting up, but it lights up. And I was so proud of myself. You have to build a circuit for this with copper tape, diodes, and a battery. And I found a couple of videos. I thought, okay, I can do that. Ordered the supplies. And it took me, I had to, I had to play with it for a while. I had to, first I had to make the, the circuit See how it went together. Then I had to make it to where I wanted it, where I wanted it to go. And then I would rip the tape and then the diode. It was just trial and error. And so then finally I made it. My husband was out of town. I was so excited that I took a video of it <laughs> and texted him. He was very proud. But anyways, if you want to look at this video, you can go look um, on yesterday's blog post. Um, the little light, the little, the little bugs light up. Let's see if you guys can see that. And I really think anybody could do it. 
it's not it's not hard it just you know takes some time all right and then i'll have one more project for you on monday this one, I kept thinking I wanted like a summer night. So I used that paper that is now sold out and I inked it with some blue ink, some Night of Navy ink. So it looked like maybe it was a darker, I don't know, darker sky. And I made a red lantern because I kept thinking of that lantern as a red lantern. All right, that is it, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, I will be um, cutting make and take kits on Tuesday and mailing them on Wednesday. Um, don't forget the rabbit, the bunny and um, carrot deadline is on Friday. If you want to sign up for that. And I'm looking at the calendar. Is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. I'll be live again next week at two o'clock on Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.